Welcome back, boys and girls and cheesy minions of all ages. Um, so this is a odd little battle against um, a guy named One Happy, and he came to my last uh, Twitch live stream, and um, I decided just to use funky stuff. In fact, I think I used three normal types on this team, um, but there's the teams. Um, technically, it's a standard match, but uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting. I brought Tauros, I brought Raichu, I brought Dustbuster, of course. Um, so it's going to be kind of interesting to see how this goes. Um, so there he is. And um, I'm not going to try to pronounce that name. So yeah, I'm just going to go into my Dust Buster because it's super cute. And he's going to go ahead and lead with Tentacruel. And um, yeah, obviously I don't know what this thing is going to do. I see the Black Sludge. So I'm like, whatever. Let's just go ahead and U-turn. So that's what I do. Um, he's probably just going to set up Toxic Spikes, which I have absolutely no way to get rid of. So... I think I just go into Roadkill here, my Raichu. It's pretty much my only way I have to hit this Tentacruel hard, although not even that, because Tentacruel actually has really good special defense. Um, so I don't even know if I can kill this thing with a Thunderbolt. Um, but uh, yeah, Roadkill is um, actually just going to uh, yeah hit the Volt Switch on this... Uh, uh, well, not hit the Volt Switch, rather, on the Nido King. So good play by him. Gets one layer of Toxic Spikes and goes into Nido King. The only way I have to really get rid of them, actually, is by uh, going into Ditto against this Nido King. I think that would trigger... With that, I don't even know. If I transform into a Poison type, would it get rid of Toxic Spikes? I'm not entirely sure, actually. Actually, no, I'm not 100% sure at all. So, whatever. I go to my Miss Magius. At least Miss Magius is immune to that sort of thing. And um, I decide just to actually go for a Calm Mind. Um, as he goes into the Hydragon. And I have Gasoline Gleam. I really should have went for the sub. Um, but I'm like, you know what, after plus one, I have good special defense. Let's hope I can tank a da Dark Pulse, and I do. Get off that X4 effective Dazzling Gleam at plus one to be able to take down the Hydra God, so that's a pretty good start for me. Miss Majors, of course, the sexy lady Pokemon, um, on this really weird, fun team. So in comes his Rotom, and I'm like, you know what, I, just, I mean, if he's not Scarf, I should outspeed. Um, let's just go for it. I go for the Shadow Ball, ends up connecting, so he's not Scarf, which is cool. And he ends up going for the Hidden Power? And I'm like, what the heck hidden power is this? But it's actually super effective, so it's like, wait. It, that means it's hidden power dark or hidden power ghost. I don't know why he would have it on either way. So a little bit weird. I'm going to guess it's hidden power dark, because obviously Rotom has access to Shadow Ball, which would be better than hidden power ghost. So I'm going to guess it's hidden power dark, although I'm not entirely sure uh, for what he put that on there for. But anyway, I'm just going to go for another Shadow Ball to finish off the Rotom, but he ends up going into the Scissor, which is honestly what he should have went into in the first place. Uh, to uh, take care of his mage because his mage just has really poor physical defense, and I'm just gonna go ahead and die to the bullet punch now. But uh, either way, Miss Mage just did a lot of work, and uh, that's pretty cool. So I'm just gonna. What do I do? Oh, you know what I do? I go to my freaking Tauros, um, and that's because I actually have Fire Blast in the sword. It's actually uh, primarily physical, um, but it's actually naive. So just so I can carry Fire Blast uh, for a Steel type, so I'm just gonna go for it. He doesn't expect it. As you can see, he had the leftover, so he's switching up his move, probably to a fighting move, or um, just a U-turn. And uh, that's pretty great for me, because I'm going to be able to get that Fire Blast. Thankfully, it connects, and in comes um, the Skeptile. And I actually kind of derp here. I'm like, I don't really have a way to take a hit from this thing. I really should have went into Gutra. I mean, obviously, I knew it was going to be Mega Skep, uh, because that just kind of seemed like uh, the obvious Mega on his team, other than maybe Scizor. Um, and he's just going to go ahead and Leaf Storm me. I should have probably went into Gudra because I did have Sap Zipper on it. Um, but I guess I was afraid that he might just go for a Dragon Stab move, so I just sacked Tauros instead. Uh, but now he's at minus two special attacks. Now he definitely can hurt Gudra, even if he does go for a, um, a, uh, Dragon move. Um, uh, because he has minus two special attack, he's not gonna be hurt me, so, um, I'm just gonna go for a Draco Meteor of my own. He ends up going into the Nido King. Oh, no, I saw you go for the Sludge Wave, uh, first, and now I'm gonna go for the Draco Meteor. Um, I should've just went for the Draco Meteor off the bat, but I guess I didn't want, uh, the minus two special attack or him to predict it or something. I don't know. Um, he does have Ice Beam, um, it's pretty standard now on, uh, Nido Kings, and, um, yeah, hits me down to about half, which, uh, displays Gudra's amazing special bull, because I do nail him with a Draco Meteor, which actually is enough to take down Nido King with its poor defenses, and down it goes. Um, and he is gonna go back into the Skeptile now, which makes sense, uh, because he can now just go ahead and go for a Dragon Pulse, hoping to take me out with that. Um, and he does go for it, but... My Gudra is just a freaking tank. In fact, I believe this is an AV Gudra, an Assault Vest Gudra. So, um, yeah, obviously that increases my special defense even further, allowing me to actually live that hit from Skeptile, allowing it to nail it with another Draco Meteor. Um, and Gudra just took out two Pokemon, um, so that's pretty nice. So down it goes, though, to the Poison. 
Um, but I can, uh, yeah, I think I go into my roadkill, my, uh, uh, Raichu again, because I know that his last two Pokemon are the Tentacruel and this year Rotom, uh, Wash, uh, who was at, uh, weak, uh, weakened, so I can just go for a Thunderbolt, hopefully take this guy out, I do, and his last Pokemon is the Tentacruel, who I also feel pretty confident, um, I, I know I can't want to KO it with Raichu, um, but I'm pretty confident, though, that'll be a 2 KO, and I don't think he can do much to me, so I go for the Thunderbolt, and I end up getting the para, so we're not even going to find out what he was going to try, because he's actually going to get the para and get the para hacked, so. Um, that is a pretty clutch way to end the fight, uh, Raichu. A little roadkill thing. Actually, it's evolved from roadkill. It's not technically roadkill. Pikachu is roadkill. But anyway, good game there. One happy was a very interesting match. Not every day you get to use a Tauros. Um, and Dustbuster and all that, so. Uh, turned out okay for me in the end. So today's question of the day is going to be... I know that uh, Generations 3 and 4 um, are long past, but what is your favorite Battle Frontier um, facility? Um, some of my newer viewers who got into Pokemon after those generations might not know the Battle Frontier, but it was a freaking awesome thing. I hope they bring it back at some point. As for me, I've always loved the Battle uh, Factory, actually. You don't get to use your own Pokemon, um, but it is really fun to actually uh, use the rentals and then swap um, to make the best team possible on the fly. I do like in uh, Sun and Moon, they kind of brought that concept back I uh, forget what it's called, but in the um, it's one of those uh, one of those things you can do in the um, festival. In uh, I think, can you do it in regular Sun and Moon? I think you can, but you get rentals for that too. But it's still not the same as Battle Factory. Also related to Battle Pyramid, I thought the Battle Pyramid is really cool and unique. Um, I think that was only in Gen 3's um, Battle Frontier, though. I might be wrong. Maybe I got that reversed. But either way, I remember liking that one. So leave a comment about that, and see you guys again next time. Later, my friends, my dudes, my peeps, and all that.